Hisashi Aochi, a lab technician who becomes nation's worst ever nuclear radiation victim during an accident in a nuclear power plant of Japan. It is considered to be an extremely critical issue of nuclear effect in our medical history, where Hisashi was kept alive for 83 days in some experimental ways. A number of questions remain about the ethics surrounding his treatment. Cause of the Second Tokimura Nuclear Accident The Second Tokimura Nuclear Accident conveys the nuclear disaster that occurred on September 30, 1999, at around 10.35 am, resulting in two horrific nuclear deaths. It is one of the world's worst civilian nuclear radiation accidents that happened in a uranium fuel reprocessing plant. The plant was operated by Japan Nuclear Fuel Conversion Company located at Tokei Village of Naka District, in Japan. Three lab workers, Hisashi Aochi, 35 years old, Yutaka Yokokawa, 54 years old, and Masato Shinohara, 39 years old, were working at the lab in their shift that day. Hisashi and Masato were together preparing a measurable batch of nuclear fuel by adding uranium solution to the precipitation tanks. Due to lack of experience, they had mistakenly added an excessive quantity of uranium to one of those tanks which reached to its critical condition. Eventually, in all of sudden, a self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction started with an intense blue flash and the horrible accident took place. The fate of Hisashi Aochi. Unfortunately, Hisashi was the nearest one from the explosion who was injured most. He received 17 sieverts of radiation while 50 millisieverts is considered as the maximum permissible annual dose of radiation and 8 sieverts is considered as the mortal dose. Whereas, Masato and Yutuka also received the fatal doses of 10 sieverts and 3 sieverts respectively. They all were immediately admitted to the Mito Hospital. Hisashi suffered 100% of serious burns, and most of his internal organs were fully or partially damaged. Shockingly the white blood cell count in his body was near to zero, destroying his whole immune system, and the fatal radiation also destroyed his DNA. What does nuclear radiation do to the human body? Nuclear radiation effect inside our body, inside the nucleus of our each body cell are microscopic bodies called chromosomes that are responsible for the function and reproduction of each cell in our body. Chromosomes are made of two large molecules or strands of deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. Nuclear radiation affects the atoms in our bodies by removing the electrons. This breaks the atom bonds in DNA, damaging them. If the DNA in the chromosome is damaged, the instructions that control the cell's function and reproduction are also damaged and cells can't replicate so they die. Those that can still replicate, create more mutated or damaged cells that create cancer. An aftermath of the disaster. About 161 people from 39 households within a 350 meter radius from the conversion building were immediately evacuated. Residents within 10 kilometers were asked to stay indoors as a precautionary measure. However, the nuclear chain reaction resumed as the solution cooled and the voids disappeared. The following morning, workers permanently stopped the reaction by draining water from a cooling jacket surrounding the precipitation tank. The water was serving as a neutron reflector. A boric acid solution was then added to the tank to ensure that the contents remained subcritical. Residents were allowed home two days later with sandbags and other shielding to protect from residual gamma radiation, and all other restrictions were lifted with caution. The last ditch effort by the advanced medical teams to keep Hisashi alive. The internal infections and almost skinless, skeletal body of Hisashi was rapidly poisoning him from inside and outside at the same time. Despite several skin transplants, he continued to lose body fluids through the pores of his skin burns that caused his blood pressure to be unstable. At one moment, Hisashi was bleeding from his eyes and his wife said that it looked like he was crying blood. As Hisashi's condition worsened, the National Institute of Radiological Sciences in Chiba, Chiba Prefecture, transferred him to the University of Tokyo Hospital, where he reportedly underwent the world's first transfusion of peripheral stem cells so that the white blood cells could be begun to generate again in his body. The Japan government gave a higher priority for Hisashi's critical case, as the result, a group of top medical experts was assembled from Japan and abroad to treat the poor condition of radiation affected Hisashi Aochi. In the process, medics kept him alive by pumping huge amounts of blood and fluids into him on a daily basis and treating him with drugs specially imported from various foreign sources. It has been reported that during the period of his treatment, 
Hisashi requested several times to release him from the unbearable pain and once he even said he didn't want to be a guinea pig anymore. But it was considered a matter of national dignity that put the special medical team under pressure. Therefore, despite Hisashi's will to die, doctors had made their utmost effort to keep him alive for 83 days. On the 59th day of his treatment, his heart stopped three times within just 49 minutes, that caused serious damages in his brain and kidneys. Doctors had took Hisashi on a total life support until he finally died on December 21, 1999, due to multi-organ failure. Hisashi Aochi is considered as the worst nuclear radiation-affected victim in our medical history, who spent the final 83 days of his life through the most painful inpatient condition.